delusional, Sussex turn into farces under Levin's ferret as Netflix just filtering the media trash. The royal biographer criticized Prince Harry and Meghan Markle for manipulating the use of their royal titles in an attempt to profit off their failed Netflix series. The royal biographer condemned Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's use of their royal status for profit on the recently dropped Netflix animated series. Ms. Levin discussed the cancellation of the online series with Talk TV's Mike Graham. The royal expert said, she didn't want the title, they don't want to be royals so they didn't want to do anything that was royal, except use the title that will help them make loads of money. Broadcaster Mike Graham agreed, that would be why she introduced Harry as Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex the last time they were out in the Invictus Games. Ms. Levin agreed, yes as if it was the Oscar Awards. I think it's very interesting actually because you can't just use people for your own ends, you actually have to prove things. The royal expert argued Netflix had to axe the Duchess of Sussex's program in light of a significant loss of subscribers, focusing their resources on other projects. She added, when a lot of money is concerned with a big company, they're not stupid, they're only going to wait so long. I think they've been incredibly patient. They've decided that along with other things, they're not the only thing they're getting rid of, you just cut out the trash really. You carry on with what is really good and what you're seeing, what you're being shown. Netflix has announced the development of Meghan Markle's animated series Pearl will now be scrapped. The Duchess was set to act as executive producer on the series which would cover the adventures of a young girl inspired by historically significant women. Speaking of the Netflix deal last year, Megan said, I'm thrilled that Archul Productions, partnered with the powerhouse platform of Netflix, and these incredible producers, will together bring you this new animated series, which celebrates extraordinary women throughout history. The announcement comes as Netflix faced a huge drop in subscribers as prices for the streaming service rose. Netflix is still set to work on a number of other projects with Prince Harry and Meghan's cooperation. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex founded a production company, Archul Productions, which made several content deals with Netflix. The streaming service is set to move forward with a documentary covering the Invictus Games, of which Prince Harry is a founder. Archul Productions stated the docuseries will showcase the powerful stories of resilience and hope from competitors on their journey to Invictus Games The Hag S 2020. Previously, Meghan Markle threw away her skills claims royal author Angela Levin as she savages the Duchess of Sussex over her business deals since leaving the royal family. Ms. Levin sat down with TV presenter Mike Graham to discuss Ms. Markle's animation series Pearl being cancelled. Ms. Markle and her husband Prince Harry have been facing criticism for their million-pound business deals. The royal author explained that the focus should be on the Queen currently as her jubilee is approaching fast and she may not be able to get on the balcony. Ms. Levin also claimed that the Duchess of Sussex had thrown away her skills and had become so full of grandeur. Ms. Levin told Talk TV, I hate people who manipulate like that. Forever manipulating, forever putting themselves out in the front and it's all about me. What about the Queen for goodness sake, we now know she might not even be able to get onto the balcony. But it's very very sad that they've turned like that, it's a great disappointment. Meghan had some skills but she's actually thrown them away because she's so full of grandeur. There has been much speculation by royal experts have been wondering if the Queen will make an appearance on the balcony at her jubilee this summer, due to her fragile state. A royal source with knowledge of the current situation told the Mail on Sunday, it could still happen but it is by no means guaranteed that we will see the Queen on the balcony during the Jubilee. See the